Hello everyone, today we're going to be learning how to do some loading dots animation and we're going to be using three dots to get animation like the one in the preview. So first open up a new presentation in PowerPoint and then we'll go to layout and blank. And then we'll go to this oval here and then we'll click wherever and it'll come up with a circle. Hold down the shift so that it stays as a circle and uh, size, resize it up so that we have a, a a bigger a bigger circle to work with, and then we go to animations, and then press the drop down and go to lines, and then we've got we'll press up instead of down, right? And then we'll make it 0.25, and as well as making it up, we're going to go into the advanced settings, get rid of the smooth start and go auto reverse which means it'll go like that right and as well as doing that we're going to go to the shape format or we'll make the shape black make the shape outline no outline and then let's just align that to middle okay now what we're going to do is we're going to copy that object and that's going to align to the center and copy that object again and that's going to align to the end right um, you can move a bit closer if you want. Let's do yeah, so we've uh, so you can move a bit closer, and then we've also then we have to also go to the animation animation pane. As we you see here, we've got three animations, each, one for each circle, and then we're going to make the first one go with previous. The next one is going to go with previous, but it's going to have a delay of 0.25, and the other one is also going to have a with previous, but have a delay of 0.5, right? Now, if we play it all, you'll see that we've got a, a button, but um, you might want to create this into a GIF file so that we can have it like running over and over again as an animated file so that you can use it in other uh, other presentations and like websites and stuff like that. So what you need to do is you need to go file and then export and then create animated GIF. I've already created mine but all you need to do is go ahead and press create GIF and put it wherever you want and name the file. So let me just bring mine up and then it's just it's going to look a bit like this and this runs some uh, like over and over again as a GIF file and this is literally it. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share and comment on this video. If you've got any ideas for us to do any tutorials on, just put it below. And if you haven't already, just subscribe as they will really help us out. Thanks for watching, see you next time.